Hi everyone, and welcome to day 54 of our series on the parables, looking today at building a tower or going into battle, featured in Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 25 to 33, which I'll read for you now. It's entitled, The Cost of Being a Disciple. Large crowds were travelling with Jesus, and turning to them, he said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his mother and father, his wife and children, his brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it? For if he lays the foundation and is not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to complete. Or suppose a king is about to go into battle against another king. Will he not first sit down and consider whether he is able, with 10,000 men, to oppose the one coming against him with 20,000? If he is not able, he will send a delegation while the other is still a long way off, and will ask for peace terms. In the same way, any of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. So this passage begins with a large crowd following Jesus to Jerusalem, to the final destiny of his cross. The crowd, of course, predominantly think that he is on his way to Jerusalem in a crown of glory, which is, in a sense, of course it is, but not a crown of thorns. They view Jesus as their long-awaited Messiah, a winner, a popular following, though many followed him to bask in his reflected glory. Jesus, though, pulls them up short with a reality check that discipleship will carry a high price tag, a high cost. It comes with cost, and those wishing to follow him need to realise what the cost could be, before committing themselves to following him as his disciples. Jesus demands commitment, which is a very unpopular word these days, but there are costly but valuable commitments we should follow. Faithful stewardship, worship attendance, honesty in work and relationships, compassion for the poor and needy, and unswerving loyalty without denials or betrayals. Jesus never said or made discipleship easy. He does not hide the hard parts, but writes the costs in large print for all to see. Jesus is honest throughout and does not require anything of his disciples that he himself is not willing to do or give. Luke, in his Gospel, tells us in chapter 9, verse 51, that Jesus set his face to go to Jerusalem, to the place of his cross where his earthly life would end, and on that journey he already knew what fate awaited him there. This passage sees some tough demands from Jesus to seemingly discard family and even our own lives. God and Jesus demand first place in our lives, and make us aware that discipleship is costly. Discarding spouses, husbands and wives, children, parents, sounds awfully harsh and difficult to listen to. But Jesus is not being anti-family or anti-love. He just reminds us that a commitment to him is above all others. Hurting close family is not the call. Loving Jesus above all others, including them, is. Jesus promises our commitment will be rewarded, but this passage focuses more on his demands, Jesus experienced in his own life conflict between family and divinity. When told that his mother and brothers wanted to see him, he replied in Luke chapter 8, verse 21, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. So he was demanding uh, following, discipleship, as opposed to uh, prioritising his close family and friends. Jesus calls us to take up our cross and carry it for him, the cross being, of course, a symbol of suffering and death, but more so overriding that of freedom and new life in the risen Christ. Christian cross-bearing is a call to love one another. It can be an agent of change, of mercy, of transforming love. The Christian sacrifice is of self, not for others. In terms of building towers and going into battle, as with discipleship, there will be a price to pay, but only as life unfolds do we assess the full cost. Planning in these things is always important to avoid disappointment and disaster. Prepare now to avoid disaster as Jesus demands our full commitment to his, as his disciples, to take up our cross and follow him to the foot of his and beyond. Our reward for sacrifice will be in heaven once we turn towards God and away from the temptations, passions and concerns of our earthly lives, making Jesus our focus, our centre. But just remember, no one including Jesus himself, as we've seen in this passage, ever said it would be easy. Amen. Have a good week, everyone. Bye for now. Much love.